everyone, it's me, Pluto, and guess what? It's totally time to get your howls on. That's right, because today it's the super blood moon of May, and it's also a lunar eclipser. They, they call it the super moon when the full moon occurs at the closest point to the Earth planet during its orbit. So, so then it looks more gigantic and it more and it more shines brightly. So this main moon, it will be the closest one to the Earth planet all year. Only 363,104 kilometers. <laughs> so that's really pretty super duper. So the, so the moon is going to pass right through the Earth planet shadow, which will make it look kind of reddish. That's because red light, it has a longer waving length than the blue light waving, which is what gives the lunar eclipse its special reddish color. It, 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 it all happens because of Rayleigh scattering. It's really pretty cool. The, the sunlight, it's made up of all, all different colors like a rainbow. And, and the air surrounding the Earth atmosphere, it has water droplets and dust particles and a bunch of different gases. But, 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 but not the gases that come from eating too much broccoli. That's a different kind of gas. <laughs> so, so in a nut house, when the sunlight in the Earth's atmosphere bounces around on the particles, it gets scattered around, but, but it doesn't scatter it all equally. The, the shorter colors, like the purple and the blue, they get bounced more, and so, so, so they get removed from the light before it hits the surface of the moon. But, but the longer ones, like the red and the orange, they get to sneak through and they hit the surface of the moon. That's why the total lunar eclipsers are called blood moons because of the red and orange light that sneaks through and reflects off the surface of the moon. So it's a super blood moon. Some of the indigenous people, they, they also call this the super flower moon because, well, lots of flowers are bursting open now and they're splashing their colors all around. It's, it's also referred to as the milk moon from the old Anglo-Saxons because May, it, it was traditionally the month of three milkings when the cows were milked three times a day. Hey, hey, why did the cow jump over the moon? Because the farmer had really cold hands. <laughs> also, also, sometimes this moon could be called the hair moon, which comes from the medieval England days. Hair, hair like the ones that hop around, not like the hair that, that throws a surprise party on your chin. Anyway, anyway, hair moon, flower moon, milk moon, whatever you call it, it's a howling moon for sure. So come on everyone, just throw your heads back and have a really good howl. Hopefully they'll all meet up in the Plutoverse. <laughs>